first of all life updates not that you care but i'm just putting it out there that i have a new background y'all new background a lot and i did my hair yesterday so <laughs> like that Nikona shida aki. <laughs> Hi guys, hello. Karibu wa karibu tena to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hola, my name is Julie and welcome to the squad of positive energy. Yes, you guys are so amazing. You know, if you just take the time, your time to subscribe and watch a person's video, you're dope. Like, you are the GOAT. Yes, anyway, first of all, I want to thank everyone who is subscribed to this channel. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for, baby girl? You're too beautiful to not subscribe to this channel. Like, I mean, what? What? I mean, it's free. This channel is adorable, um, amazing. I am uh, full of positive vibes. I will pass them on to you. What am I doing with my hands? But anyway, today I am going to teach you the art of feng shui. How to bring positive energy into your surrounding, into your home. But today specifically, I'm going to talk about your bedroom. I love my bedroom. I love spending most of the time in the bedroom. If you don't spend most of the time in your bedroom, like, who are you? Are you from this world? Are you? Are, be, are you? But anyway, <clears throat> before I talk about anything, I'll just want I just want to tell you guys that I am in no way, shape, or form a guru in uh, the art of feng shui. Feng shui is a Chinese word. It's about I think three or five thousand years old. I don't know. Google it. Today I'm going to give you tips how to bring positive energy around you, how to tame your Kai. Kai is just the art of being alive, the art of being positive. Yes, I am not sure again, Google that. Anyway, today I am, uh, you see, I'm... <sighs> the energy I have today is overwhelming. I cannot even control myself but today I'm going to give you I think six I, I, I wrote them down and I'm going to explain them one by one so let us start let me stop talking too much <clears throat> numero uno declutter like honey you need to declutter your damn house like you cannot live in a house where under your bed is just full of things. Do I have things under my bed? Do I? No, I only have a shoe and an extension. So learn to declutter your house. And you know, once your house is cluttered, your mind is cluttered. That means you are frustrated. You do not know what to do around you. So that is when you find you're not happy when you okay i'm taking from a personal experience if my house is decluttered i will be sad that day unless i declutter it that is when my mood switches like pop pop so learn to declutter your house if you declutter your house positive energy will flow around you so fang feng shui Yes, so feng shui has five elements and that is um, fire, earth, metal, wood, and water. So those five elements, each of the five elements, they are related to a specific color. Yes, before we go to numero tres, no, not tres, dos, yeah, dos. Yes, so each of the five elements is related to a specific color and I have not crumbed the color. So fire, of course, it, ha it is a red, so it's related to the red color and earth is related to yellow and metal is related to white, wood, green and water, black. 
I expected blue, but I, we can we cannot argue with the Chinese people right now. We cannot. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, in that relation to what I've just told you, I feel like a philosopher right now, and. So let us move on to numero dos, balance your house. In relation to the five colors and the five elements, just balance your house with those colors. As for me, um, I have a red somewhere, I have a yellow somewhere, you can see here. I just have all of the colors in my house. And yellow is a bright color, it brightens your home, which is an amazing thing to have. And also black so you know my carpet is white and black so I have everything so let us move on to numero tres mirrors this shocked me because you know at, at times the things how you arrange your house you may not know it but they're just a line so if you watch this video till the end <clears throat> Sorry. If you watch this video till the end and you notice that you have arranged your house in relation to what I've told you right now, you are the GOAT. You are the GOAT. What does, how does that song go again? I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, mirrors. You know girls love mirrors. I love big mirrors. You know in my future house, I will just put a huge mirror in front of me I wanted to but when I researched on mirrors normally I do not put my mirror facing me like when I'm sleeping then my mirror is just there I can see the reflection of me sleeping I do not do that it's just not okay what if you wake up in the middle of the night and the first thing you see is you had a bad dream and the first thing you see is your reflection in the mirror that is not good so apparently mirrors suck and drain your energy while you're sleeping so it is um, advisable by the Chinese people to just put your mirror away from your bed and away from uh, where you are sleeping you know don't see your reflection when you are sleeping yes numero cuatro there is this thing called feng shui wealth color which is gold i so fucking love gold i think that is how that is why i always have this much energy in me like for real though for real gold it's gold and purple purple is royalty mm. gold is just like when you hear gold you just hear wealth yes i have gold um gold thingies i have gold earrings and yeah that's just that have gold in your house it's just um see when you look at gold you feel wealthy it's just something that i don't know it's I know I don't know how to explain that it's just something that <laughs> y'all you all feel what I'm saying yeah you follow me so um numero cuatro yeah numero cinco air and light this is one thing that I've told my friends I can never live in a house that has no big windows has no good lighting I am a sucker for light proper light okay not because of selfies but i just love natural light like for real though and air normally this is a secret that wasn't supposed to be out but um for the sake of this video i wake up at six to open my windows just because i love air so yeah you know when there is a natural light and there is just air flowing inside your room it's so therapeutic i mean for me like it's so when you're looking for a house or wherever you're living always look for a house that allows natural light to just enter your room and you know it's 
nature nature is so ther therapeutic and the numero says bring the environment into your house have a light plant you know we love dead things that came out so wrong some of us are just too lazy to take care of live plants but you know here this is a light plant i just this actually this is a palm i will do a new room tour but this is just a live plant and it's in water so it's still alive so that is one thing you can just go pluck a plant that you want then just put it in water and put it in your room i love nature i just love seeing the natural things it's so therapeutic and uh, have at least one live plant in your house get rid of those dead plants because you're too lazy to water your plants every single day just have one and yeah i think that is it for the video i think i am done explaining the art of feng shui and my my leg is now ah, ah, oh <sighs> yes so i think that is it for this video guys it's it for the video and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed watching uh, me telling you things that i researched and this plant is tickling me why am i not laughing <laughs> but anyway guys that is it for this video i have talked a lot i have talked things that don't make sense if you have seen sense in this video you are the good I do not know why I'm, I keep on saying you are the goat. That song is ringing in my head. I do not know why. I have to play it. I have to play it. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Just comment even a love heart. Because it helps me a lot with beating the YouTube who am I? I was supposed to say YouTube. Hey, na funny talking more sasa. But anyway, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Oh my leg. Oh mgumbo kufa ganzi. Hey. The things we do for YouTube. God. But anyway, yeah subscribe give this video a thumbs up i have repeated that line a lot of times subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let us see each other on my next video so bye hasta luego